Hello teachers and staff, this is Jeff Freem at North Tile High School. I'm just going to quickly remind you and show you how to uh, complete your teacher letter, letters of recommendation in particular with your Naviance account. When you log in, you'll likely see a little bit different um, screen than I'm showing you right here, but essentially um, I'll show you the, the main components that you're going to be clicking on. In this area where the circle is, you'll find a, a link that says um, manage my teacher recommendations. You can utilize that link or on the left hand side you also see a teacher recommendations button. I'm going to go ahead and go to teachers recommendations and thank you Danielle for letting me use you as my demonstration teacher um, and my fake student John Doe. You'll see all of your recommendation requests appear here and you'll only see yours. You'll see the date that it was requested so you can keep track of okay, who requested first. Any notes that a student may have included like oh please send to only this school or that school how many schools they would like you to send them to. There may be specific colleges that you see here. An action item, we'll get to that next. The status, so this is gonna be if it's in progress, completed, requested, or canceled. And then the soonest deadline that they might have um, on file for the, their schools. All right, so you should see there, and that's very important. One tip that I'll give you is this drop down menu in progress is a wonderful tool because this, this will tell you whether or not maybe you forgot a step. If you uploaded a letter but maybe forgot your teacher um, rankings or things like that, most likely it has not been successfully sent. So it'll probably still remain in progress. So you can check that and double check that everything's been sent. Not foolproof, but it's a pretty good stop gap to make sure that we don't forget anything. When you're ready to write your letter, complete it on Word or a Google Drive um, document, and then you can actually um, save it as a PDF or you can actually just upload the Word file directly to Naviance. Personally and professionally, what I do is I print it on letterhead. I print it out and then I scan it back um, to myself after signing it um, physically so it looks as professional as possible. That's totally up to you and just a recommendation. When you're ready to go, hit upload file. And what that's going to do, it's going to take you straight to the area where we need to complete the file for John Doe. Okay, you can ignore all these other tabs at this point. And really, the only two tabs that we're going to be primarily looking at here is this one that it leads us to default and then send. That is the last step. What we need to do is underneath teacher documents, what you'll see is an add button next to it. When you click on add, there's going to be two buttons and this is what's key. You do have to do both of these items. All right, the first things first is uploading a file. I usually do this first because that means I'm pretty much ready to send this. All right, so this is going to be where we're going to upload our file that we wrote in. Okay, and you can select different applications. For most people, as long as you have an idea of where they want you to send them, please make double sure that you know which schools they would like you to send their application or their letters to. Select all applications is fine in my eyes. Select type, letter of recommendation is the only option underneath there. And then choose a file. I'm gonna use this demonstration document. You can see it's a docx file, so you can actually um, upload that or you can save it as a PDF, it's totally up to you. Hit upload file. And what that's going to do, it's going to take just a second, you'll see it upload pending. And while that's happening, what I usually do is go in and do this next step. This is one that's typically forgotten in the process. This is the same questionnaire that the Common App asks. So please just prepare this form and it's going to have you complete the Common App Teacher Evaluation. That's the only option available, so it makes it pretty simple. And then click Prepare Form. On this next page, it's going to ask you a series of questions. Again, you can select which applications it might be for. Again, we had Cal Poly on the last one. This is only going to be applicable to schools on the common application. It's going to ask you a few background questions here. Okay, please be open and honest about those um, with regards to the student. Um, and just know that this will go to colleges and they do look fairly strongly on teacher recommendations. So, you know, if you can't write a strong letter, my suggestion um, is simply don't write one at all. Um, you do not have to write a letter, and if you have feel the need to not be write it, be able to write a glowing letter, it's probably better that you don't write one at all. Maybe they can su you can suggest asking a different person for that letter. Academic ratings. If you feel the need to complete this, this is a good idea. So please just complete these items. I can't complete this right now because I'm not going to for the teacher. Once you're done, hit save, and that will go take you back. I'm going to hit cancel and go back to this last screen. Once we've hit, hit Uploaded and we've saved that teacher recommendation form. Um, you'll see both of them listed here. You, you don't see the teacher recommendation here because I didn't complete that, but you will after it. Um, and it will be assigned to your name because I'm doing this right now. It is not showing up as Danielle. The next and final step is going to send. Okay, and it's going to show you the list of schools on their application. If for some reason they have not matched their common app to their Naviance account, that'll show up here. That's going to trigger you to, to maybe mention to them if you have them in class or just let me know. 
and I will be sure to touch base with the students that they have not actually connected the two portals together. They have to do that. It's a very simple process. However, you cannot send anything until they do it. So make sure that you please talk to the student or have them talk to me, or you can even talk to me, and I'll help them make sure they have that all done. Under here, you'd be able to see this is not checked off. Why? Because we haven't done those two items. All right. So the, the teacher um, profile plus they haven't connected their Common App. Once those things are done, this checkbox will be available. I'll show you under Cal Poly though to show you what it looks like. You can click hide view details. This button will also expand all of them so you can just scroll down and click the ones you want to send. I always double check that I'm sending what I actually mean to send, okay, which would be the letter of recommendation and when you do this it should show all of your forms together. So you just check it and you see this box checks as well. If this was the same I'd be able to check this and we go down and review and submit. It's going to give you a quick review Make sure that you're sending what you want to send. Hit submit, and that's it. Done and done. Um, I would always suggest following up quickly with the student. I typically just send a one or two liner email saying, Dear John, I sent your letter. Everything looks to be um, in order on my end. Please tell me if you add additional schools um, or if you find out they didn't receive it. And that's it. And then we move on to the next student. So hopefully that helps you when you're um, starting the process each fall. Um, typically, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you actually figure it out, it's pretty seamless. This video took me about 6 minutes and 20 seconds to record. I think you can actually get it done in less than 3 or 4 minutes if you kind of have, have your system under control. It doesn't take super long to complete these items. So please just make sure that you do that and I will um, be happy to answer any questions uh, that you may have or any issues that you might come up against. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Enjoy the rest of this school year and good luck with your teacher recommendations.